Welcome to my channel, my name is Attila and this is Masterpiece. So listen guys, I have been trying to do this intro for a while and I just don't know how to do it. I have made a new design and this is kind of abstract and this is designed, this piece is specially designed to provoke emotions. So some of you will hate it, some of you will love it. I hope some of you will, at least some of you will love it, but I'm pretty sure it's not everybody's cup of tea. But I want to be true to myself and I am a contemporary abstract style wood turner and this is the first time ever I dare to show a piece like this. So I go downstairs and just explain what is going on with this thing. Mustard piece. Okay, so let's just jump into the middle and let's see what's your reaction to it. Okay, so here is the piece that I designed and this is already extreme enough and this is just a guideline and I am going to take this one a step even further and I am going to cut it and I know when I cut things you don't like it. when I cut things people unsubscribe but I want to try something what can I say I just that I'm that type of guy I just I want to try something let me try this one and just bear with me it might not look cool it might not look good and I might ruin a perfectly good piece but still if I don't risk it I am not going to develop and I'm not going to ever get to that point where I want to be I hope you understand that and just uh, just support me on this one why am I doing this whole thing why can't I just be satisfied with the pieces that I make because <laughs> To be honest, 95% of the time when I make something I'm not satisfied because eventually I, I want to be able to create something big, something that, that has this bow factor. And because so many really good pieces already out there and you feel, you kind of feel you already seen all of it, yeah? and. Uh, it's really difficult to make a piece that is that is exceptional and uh, you are not going to get an exceptional piece by by being satisfied with the first thing that you have done so I'm trying to chase that I'm trying to come up with ideas that makes you speechless and it's not easy. Okay. I need this one. Yeah. Today I'm not there. I mean I am there. I just think of thinking about something. So I don't want to insult anybody. That's never my intention. But somebody recently told me a big shot wood turner you probably know him very well i don't want to say any names anyway he told me i shouldn't consider myself an artist until i am able to sell my work to a gallery to an art gallery so i'm sorry guys i'm a fraud i might have told you i'm an artist but i am not that's what it is. So me being an artist or not, one thing I don't want. I don't want you to look at my piece, look at my work and say, yeah, it's nice. I would rather you hate it than say it's nice. Because if you say it's nice, that means it's average. If you, if you hate it, you probably acknowledge that the craftsmanship is there, you just don't like the style. But it still provokes emotion out of you. And 
what does it mean to you? What do you feel when you look at it? That's my goal. So, I don't like nice. Love it or hate it. But, nice is kind of average. If you know what I mean. Okay, so the vessel is kind of done. I don't know how even the wall thickness is because I cannot really measure it. But I think it's fairly good. So now I am going to use this piece of wood to make the mouth of the waist. Do you still remember the plan? This part here. I have no idea what wood this is. I am probably going to stain it black anyway. Always wanted to design things like this and just to understand how right this thing feels to me. Just let me show you. This thing, to design this thing took me literally five minutes. I came up with the idea in five minutes. That's how much I kind of into this style. So. I hope not many of you will be disappointed when you see this one. So now I am going to start to hollow it. Because I'm cool. So here is the thing, sorry I, <laughs> sorry I blacked out a little bit in a minute ago. So I'm still thinking about how to get this one right. This, this, this here, look. look. This hole here, see, there where the epoxy didn't go in, yeah, that was intentional. <laughs> okay, let's hollow it out. Oh, by the way, when I said somebody recently looked down on me, I literally don't care. Nobody can define who I am and what I am capable of. Okay, so this is the part when I start cutting things. So, if you are sensitive to this, just close your eyes. You are discretion advised. If you are under 18, ask your parents if you can watch this. Are you still with me? Well, that was the easy one. The other will be much worse than this. Proper mutilation of beauty. Well, I feel like I have to brighten the mood a little bit, so... No. So here is a question for you. How does someone become an artist? And uh, considering the fact that one of the most expensive painting ever sold is actually a black square in a white canvas, well, I can make something like this. Does it make me an artist? Okay, so let's make the bottom part of the vase. This is quite simple, so it will be fairly quick.
have a small piece of identical sported beach left over I am going to use this one to make the base so we are not out of the woods yet as I said there will be cutting cutting of completed pieces and some of you will cry there will be teeth grinding it will be difficult but I hope we can get through it For the paint I am going to use this piece of scrap wood and just paint it black I don't want to cut up any large piece of wood for this one because I want to paint it black anyway so yeah fine well I know the skew chisel is not a scraper but I don't have the chance to practice this technique because I don't normally make spindles so that's why you don't see me using the skew as it is intended to often so now I have to cut the side and none of my tools are large enough to do that and even my saw that's the only saw I can use because the rest are large and this saw is not ideal I can ruin the whole thing by cutting this so wish me luck this is really nerve wracking Will you guys forgive me if I mess this one up? I already told you I'm not an artist. Okay, here we go. I am a proud owner of a Japanese saw now. Let's cut things. I'm warning you, close your eyes for the next couple of seconds because I have a Japanese saw and I am not afraid to use it. mustard piece well good thing I am not an artist because I don't know how I would be able to explain this crap as an art but all seriousness guys I like it is that a bad thing I like it it's one of my favorite pieces 